this is Renee Winchester, and on today's episode of Dirt, I thought I would introduce you to this lovely lichen called Usnea. Usnea grows where the air is pure. And let me start out by saying this is not the same thing as Spanish moss. So if you live in an area where there is Spanish moss, do not think that it has the same medicinal properties as Usnea because it does not. So, after we've had a little windstorm, I like to come walk up on the property because I always seem to find a lot of Usnea scattered on the ground. I'm going to just kind of span out a little bit. It's very hard to film a video in the leaves without making a lot of noise. So, here's another one. And you'll see that it has what I call little plates. This means that it is a little bit more mature than some other varieties that you'll find scattered on the ground. So we want to collect as much as we can. And here's another one. Sometimes you have to really, really get in there and look. If it is wet and there's a food dehydrator in your house, put it in the food dehydrator. Okay, so this is a good example of one that I'm not going to use. Okay, and, and this is based on how it feels in my hand. Other people may use it, but I don't feel comfortable doing it. It feels a little gritty, and it's too wet for, I just don't feel comfortable with it. So, if you, but I can show you that it is true, Usnea is a little stretchy, unless it's already dried out, and then it's breakable. Okay, and then there is a white, and it's impossible to catch it on camera with this little video there's a white center so you know there's a little bit you know that you have true usnea if when you break it apart there is there's a white center if not don't don't use it so here's another one that look at that plate i just love that oh my gosh i love it okay and this one is a little moist but it doesn't feel gritty in my hands so i'm gonna keep this one and i'm just going to lay it out and let it dry now you'll also find Usnea that doesn't have any plates open and see how it kind of looks like Spanish moss and people get that confused. Well, in the mountains, we don't have Spanish moss, so we know that definitely this is Usnea, but you still have to do the break test, okay? And this is going to be, this feels like, see, there we go. Can you see that little white center? It's so hard to tell. Now, when you find it on a stick like this, I just take the whole stick home. And then I'll separate this out, break it off, keep these little teeny tiny pieces. And there'll be some pieces of wood that are attached to it. Just let that dry off. Just And you'll discard this. You'll discard this part. Because even though it has usni around it, that still has a different lichen around it. You'll discard that. Here's another one. So as you'll see... Now that you really know what it looks like, you'll see it in a lot of places. I'll shoot another video later about what I do with Usnea. It is an incredible find that I have just now discovered, of course. Herbalists and natives have been using Usnea for a very long time. It's antibiotic and antimicrobial, and it's just probably one of my top three plants that I always want to have on hand in my house. So if you have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer the best I can. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.